Welcome to Valiant and True, Part 2 The Story of Our School's Transformation From Its Humble Abode in Kampung Pisang, Ipoh, Malaysia in 1912 To Its Magnificent New Edifice in 1922 It was Brother Augustus who single-handedly created the classic design of the architectural marble that is St. Michael's today. Born in France in the 1870s, Brother Augustus served as director of St. Michael's from 1921 to 1924. Brother Augustus labored long and hard to produce several architectural designs. Finally, one masterpiece was chosen. This was to be the crown jewel of his life's achievements. And this was to be the nucleus of the school's grand design. But where could the brothers find the 200,000 Malayan dollars required to realize this dream? How did Brother Augustus find the money? The answer lay in Ipoh's alluvial soil. Yes, indeed, in Ipoh's alluvial soil. The tin mining boom in the 1920s propelled Ipoh to become the tin capital of the world, and Brother Augustus harvested the funds from the tin mining industry. His timing proved to be perfect. He had managed to complete the building before 1928. That was a significant move because 1928 was the year of the Great Crash, the Great Depression. Brother Augustus had proved himself to be the right man in St. Michael's at the right time. For had he not moved early enough, this building, this magnificent edifice might not have seen the light of day. The imprint of the architectural genius of Brother Augustus was seen wherever he went. We see it in St. Francis Institution, Malacca, where Brother Augustus designed the majestic chapel.
Again, we see the hand of Brother Augustus at St. John's Institution, Kuala Lumpur, where Brother Augustus designed the main facade of this distinguished school in the federal capital city.